magnetizing. These things are small. I don't think it's all the way down just yet. But there we go. Good morning fellow gaming nerds, welcome to the Whiplash Hell channel. The day has arrived. Thank God I finally got it. Here it is. Uh, right now I got about two and a half hours for the little lady gets up and I have to take her to work. So I'm going to try to get this done, although I should have already done some stuff to this computer, but I haven't. So I've got a lot of work to do. Um, and I'm going to try to simplify this video since I made my last one like this too long. So uh, I guess without further ado, uh, we'll get started and uh, see what happens. Okay, here we got the parts uh, comparable together. Uh, they do look a little different. Um, as far as the make goes, uh, it's the same. I mean, all of it's the same. Um, but the color, this color is, this is different. Um, these are the LEDs or the lights they're all the same um, the wires are the same but the numbers are not the same sorry about that got a good picture of what it should be um, just wanted to show that real quick okay here we got the uh, air cooler for the CPU so I'm gonna take uh, the fan off and hopefully I'll remember the way this freaking goes and uh, this screwdriver is a bit small for this, but the only thing I could find, the head is a little small. It's the only thing I could find uh, to get it off. Really about the only thing that I've noticed so far, uh, I've had to see uh, this computer for about a year and a half, and the only thing I've noticed so far as far as a lot of dust goes, it's all clogged up here in the radiator. Uh, the fans themselves don't look too bad. And I haven't got the uh, GPU out yet. But we will. We'll get there. But uh, we're going to take this off and uh, blow it out real good. Throw this over here. And I've got to clean this off. I think it's all dried up sitting for a week. So, I might be spending more time doing this tonight than I anticipated. <laughs> I should have already done this, but I was really nervous about what I was going to have to do. If I was going to actually have to send the computer back together, uh, this, this would have been easier for me to... Oh yeah, looky there. Looky there. That's pretty clogged. It's pretty clogged. All right, guys, let's get it back together. Um, I already went ahead and blew it out. Uh, used this little thing right here. See if I can get in the camera good. Uh, Compu Cleaner 2.0. I don't know, but this thing is freaking awesome. Uh, I was gonna record it, but uh, it's, it's really loud, so I just decided to blow it out off camera so uh, let's get this thing back together and uh, clean off that thermal paste one thing I got left to do I can't see it's a little dark on this side come on get in there there we go Tighten that up, snug this side down, and I'm off freaking camera. Figures. Sorry about this, guys. This is really difficult to do by yourself uh, on a camera. It really is. I didn't think it would be this difficult. Um, I'm definitely no freaking professional. You want to see a professional, go watch uh, Jay's Two Cents or... Uh, Linus Tech Tips or uh, what's that other dude's name? Nexus Gamer, I think. Yeah, they know their shit. Whiplash is just a hobbyist. Okay, 
this is the underside of the air cooler for the CPU. Uh, I use some thermal thermal material remover and uh, you're supposed to let it sit for I think like 30 seconds, 30 to 60 seconds, which I've already put it on there and let it sit. Uh, but right now we're gonna rub this shit off. Breaks it up real good. Using this paper towel to clean it off. Comes right off. We'll have to do this to the CPU as well. Hopefully I won't screw this that up as bad as I did last time with the R2. Uh, so now I'm going to take this purifier, which I do believe is just freaking alcohol. Um, I ordered this off Newegg during the uh, COVID apocalypse and because uh, I couldn't find any uh, rubbing alcohol at the store every time I would go it would they would be out so I'm gonna take and clean this up real good and then after this uh, we will move on to uh, the GPU there we go shine that baby right up let me give you an expanded view here uh, I've already opened up the case this here is a power supply where the door opened up and right here is our graphics card and uh, what I'm going to do is take this little plastic piece and slide it up. I thought there might have been a latch there, but it just, it's, like, it's just like a little hook. That's all it is. Um, the graphics card itself does not have any screws in it, which I thought was weird. I actually had to look this up on YouTube, but there is a little thing right there. You just pop that up and it should slide out. I hope we're going to find out. There it comes. The thing is freaking huge. Freaking huge. I thought it might be a little easier to get to this uh, these plugs if I pulled it out, but I guess it matters. Let's wiggle that out. Come on, baby. There we go. Let's get this other one. Um, all I'm going to do to this is blow it out. Um, I'm going to look at the fan. This uh, PCIe here is being a little bit tough. Come on now. There we go. There she is. That's a NVIDIA RTX 2070. All right, there's the graphics card. Um, it's got three little bitty screws on this side, and three little bitty screws on this side. Now, I've already taken the liberty to take them out. I mean, anything's so freaking little. I dropped one on the floor. I swear it took me five minutes to find it. It's this little fan shroud. We're gonna take it off. Believe it or not, this does not look as bad as I thought it was gonna look. Um, I am going to take this heat sink off. I wasn't going to go this far, but I'm, I've, I've already gone this far. Might as well just keep going. And, uh, see what the thermal paste looks like. Might as well. I've got thermal paste to do it all up for. Might as well do it right if I'm going to go through all the trouble. Oh, look at that. Spring-loaded screws. I thought they would stay attached. So hopefully we don't spring spring load them springs right out of here, right? All right. Let's see what happens here. Oh, come right off. Well, I don't look bad at all. That looks really damn good, actually. <coughs> Still even still even looks wet wow isn't that hard to believe all right i just wanted to show this for the sake of argument i'm not really sure that you can see that in the camera i'll try to hold that up there where it says nvidia on the gpu chip there i'm gonna kind of wiggle it around hopefully i can't tell in the 
picture whether or not you can see it or not but um, <clears throat> I've gone to a couple benchmarking places before online and did benchmarks on my uh, card and the computer and for some reason a time or two it wasn't able to identify my uh, uh, graphics card and it made me doubt the validity of my uh, graphics card a time or two so I mean right there is proof that it is an NVIDIA uh, graphics card so there it is so now I'm gonna dab on some uh, get this mess out of my way. So thermal paste. I hope I got enough here. I still gotta do the CPU yet. I think I do. And yeah, I'm probably pretty sloppy at this. Last time I ended up doing too much. I like to spread it around a bit. I know you guys can't see this because my freaking hands are in the way. But uh, that's it. It's good enough for me. I'll spread it around. Actually, it look, looks like uh, compared to what was on it, because there was quite a bit on it. A little bit more never heard on guess. Of course, there are arguments that too much is a bad thing. So, um, I do. I don't know if this is a bad thing or not, but I do like to spread it around where it's a bit even. I know it gets squashed, but if I have an even squash, it makes me happy. Probably waste a lot on my finger, but that's just the way I like to do it. One of these days, I'm going to do this to uh, my Xbox. I've already done it to my first Xbox, like one of the original Xbox Ones. And uh, I need to do this one that's sitting over here. I have not done that yet. Uh, the first one I did off camera, that one I plan on doing on, on camera. So, uh, oh, I guess I need to blow this out a little bit or blow it off yeah all right i'll do that off that camera i'll get this assembled off camera guys i just wanted to show you what i was going to do um, i figured i'd go ahead and do this now uh since i had the gpu out and probably be a little bit easier i have already cleaned uh the thermal paste off the cpu and uh here we go this slides back in here had to move some wires out of the way this goes right back up in here, slides right up, just like so. All right, I'm gonna plug this up before I forget where everything goes. All right, now I'll get my trusty screws out, and uh, we'll get this back in. Ooh, get this back in here. I'll be so glad to get this done. Still got a long ways to go yet. Come on. I can get this one to catch real quick. How about we just do it this way? Me and my thumbs. See if I can't get it started this way. There we go. In case you were wondering, these little stands here are actually for the Wi-Fi. Now, I don't use the Wi-Fi on this computer. I actually have it hard-lined into my router, but uh, that's what those are. I've, I've, I've almost knocked them off a couple times. I feel better now that I've got all this done. Now it's just a matter of putting it back together, which can be cumbersome. That's okay, I really do enjoy doing this kind of stuff. I wish I was better at it, but we actually had the opportunity to, uh, you know, build PCs. I've been seriously thinking about, well, I do need to build myself another gaming PC, so I'll have an extra one in case something happens to this one. As I've learned my lesson, um, 
I'd, I'd kind of like to sell or build from some computers and sell them on eBay. Problem with that is eBay takes so freaking much money. I think I'm gonna go ahead and kind of snuggies down a little bit to draw that radiator in a little bit more because that's what's giving me issues here. One more. I don't know why this one's being so difficult. I might have to flip this up because I can't see from this side. Plus, I'm not left-handed. <laughs> oh man, this is nuts. Little lady is gonna be up here in about 30 minutes. She's gonna be like, why the hell ain't you got that done yet? Well, it's cause I've been videotaping. <laughs> Look, I think it's uh, it's a little cocked. That's what I think. Oh, as you can see, yeah, it's a little cocked. There we go. I think that's I think that's it right there. How many comments am I going to hear about this one? Can't even get the screw in. Come on. Come on. I feel you. I feel you. Alright, Whiplash is fixing to stand up and walk around. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to attempt this through the camera. See? all I needed to do. <laughs> all right. Get these snug down or I probably ought to use a bigger tipped screwdriver. I love this little iFixit case. Got all kinds of goodies in it. Well, there we go. Now, there's no real clear way to show this. I don't have an overhead camera, maybe one day, but I'm fixing to put some uh, thermal paste on the CPU. And then we're gonna put this cooler down. Hope that don't seep out. I guess I'll try to put the lid on with one hand. There we go. <laughs> oh. One of these days, Whiplash will be a professional. I doubt it, but hey. At least I'm doing my best to take care of my equipment, you know? When was the last time you thermal paste your PC, right? I think I might put a dab more. I'm afraid to let this go because if I let it go, it's going to smash into it. And then I'm going to have a mess everywhere like I did last time. I'm going to have to clean it up. And... I think that's sufficient enough. That's, I think that's a little bit more than what was on it. So let's make sure all these wires are out of the way for the cooler or fan, actually. And uh, this is going to be cumbersome to put down.
make sure those are all on the hoe. Sorry, I had the flashlight in my my mouth. <laughs> Boy, hands off the Linus Tech Tips and uh, Jay's Two Cents and uh, Nexus Gamer and all them. They do all this stuff started out by themselves, man. It's it's difficult to do this by yourself and try to do the camera and have the proper lighting and they're way more into it than you you really think all right I'm trying to do this evenly I should have started counting all right this one snug down that one snug down yeah I'm way off obviously Alright, I don't know how snug those are supposed to be, but to me it feels pretty snug. In my opinion, I can't turn it anymore without stripping, torquing, or screwing shit up, and I ain't doing that. So now we need to get the fan plugged up. Let's see what we got here. Yes, Whiplash is using the flashlight. Uh, let's see, that's the fan. This is the cooler. Pump fan, top fan, should be this one. There we go, and then this one, I don't know if I can reach it, it's going to be difficult. There we go. There we go. Oh, it looks so much better in here. I took that uh, uh, blower and I blew all this out. This actually, the worst part of the case that had dust was down here at the very bottom, believe it or not. Uh, and then right here, a little bit at the very beginning um, where there's an intake fan right here. Uh, and this, you would think a fan would be there, but this is actually for a uh, mechanical hard drive. Uh, the only hard drive I have is this uh, uh, what is it one one terabyte uh, NVMe uh, right here that's the only one I have in it and I would like to buy some SSDs and I may eventually do that um, I have not looked at the prices of those in quite some time but uh, I'll have to check into that and do some upgrades but uh, all right, now the next thing we need to do, uh, I hate to say this, I do have a hard drive that's sitting over here. I don't know why I'm sitting here thinking this, but this right here is a for the um, VRAM. Let's make sure I get this right. It goes this way. And it's a heat sink for the VRAM. This one's too big. Swap this out. There we go. So much easier to do this when nothing's in your way. See, I try to take this with, I try to take this cooler out with everything in the way, and uh, it wasn't going to happen. So. Uh, Pretty sure that's the right way. Let me take this back off. And then that's when I got the bright idea to take the top off and think that would take this chassis for the uh, radiator out and it, I could just access it that way. Wrong! That's when I screwed up my uh, power. Yeah, the little ones. Okay, yeah, I had it the right way. Yeah, but that's when I messed things up. That was my own fault, lesson learned. Hopefully I will never do that again. I'm not really sure how tight to uh, take these down. They were pretty snug, so I'll, I'll tighten them down until they get snug and leave them alone. I 
that's good enough and that's good enough <clears throat> all right let's make sure I'm not forgetting any darn thing um, everything looks plugged up power to the board the fans good to go I didn't take this and I don't know if I said this or not I didn't take it out because I did say that didn't I oh well it just didn't it didn't look that dirty now the front of the case is dirty from where I blew it out and I'll clean that off camera but uh, other than that we're good all right I guess it's time to put this graphics card back in I'm a little nervous about that that was very very simple to pull out but it still makes me nervous so. This thing is heavy, and I did tighten these up, yes. Sorry, I know this is off camera, but I can't move the camera with me on everything. So, uh, let's slide this thing back down in here. So we go ahead and put these in first? I don't know if it'd be easier or not. Uh-oh. These split apart. I did not know that. I didn't know which direction that was. Well, it's pretty obvious which direction they go because they're bent that way. So I'll wait till I get it in. Probably be easier to see. Sorry, I need my flashlight again. Make sure I've got it in the right spot. There we go. Slid down in there, locked down into place. It's hard to believe that just holds in there without pressing it up. It just amazes me. It really does. Okay, let's get our little holder put this back down in locks down into place and okay here comes the top part um, this is the uh, power button the external and the piece that I needed was the internal because I ripped it off Hopefully I won't do it again. I don't know if you guys can see this, but I've already put this in the housing. So all I need to do is put it in there, screw it down, and put the inside back together. Fairly easy, it just goes right in there. Take this little bitty screw. I'm glad these are magnetized. Because these things are small. Probably knock it off there again. I'm trying to see if you guys can see this. Probably can't, but uh, there we go. There's one. Got one more to go. Like I said, it's a good thing this is magnetized. These things are small. Me and my thumb, it just does not get along. I had an accident at work. I don't really talk about this much, but I had an accident at work back in 2012. And my hand is this it's not the best in the world. My thumb, my grip, the whole thing. I can I can move it good, but I don't know if y'all can see that. Yeah. See that? <laughs> That's why my thumb doesn't operate correctly. But it's good enough. Thank God that I made it through it because I could have died. There we go. Alright, let's see if we can't snap this down here. The little lady will be getting up any minute. We got to lay this out this way. Nope. Let's see. 
How do we got to do this? Oh yeah, it lays back in here. Now this should snap back into place. These little tabs right here go inside of here. So let's see if we can't make that happen. Yeah, I'm taking a sneak peek. Make sure that wire's out of the way. There we go. I don't think it's all the way down. All right. It's funny how these things go together. Just for aesthetic reasons, really, that's all it is. Alright guys, uh, problem I had getting this back together is I just needed to get a little bit more elbow grease and it popped right back in. So, uh, what this does is this just slides up over top of this. Um, these are your Wi-Fi antennas. Um, so let's see if we can get this in here without screwing it up. Now see this is where I had the problem is. We gotta slide this wire down through here and out this side panel. Now it may not be too difficult to get through there, but the problem is when it popped off, there we go. When it popped off, it got, it, I had it unplugged, but it got caught on this edge and it yanked the wires out. So, that is where the problem lies. So let's see if we can't get this back on here correctly. May have to get my flashlight. If I shine the light in the guy's face, I apologize. I gotta see if that's going in there right. It, it, it's hard to believe now don't get me wrong, I really love this computer. It's been a great, a great PC, it really has. Um, but it seems like that they would, have a little bit better connection up here than just, just the wires being lightly soldered on with some uh, hot glue over top of it. Come on. Let's pop back in there. This thing weighs a ton. It really does. Oh, the wire's in the way. All I need to do is pop this back out and fuck it up again, right? <laughs> I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. Okay, let, let's try it the safe way. And shove this back up in here. Still gonna get caught, I'm telling you. Mike my dang head, I bet y'all saw that. It looks like it's getting caught right here on the edge. Uh oh. I'm afraid I'm gonna have to pop this back off. There we go. has to go on this side of it. I'm going to end up yanking it out again.
All right, Val. I just needed to push that up. I don't think it's all the way down just yet, but there we go. Hell to the yeah. Gosh, I think I just popped something else in there. There we go. Yep. All locked into place. Now all we got to do is put these together. And this goes to the side panel. And let's flip this back around. If this don't work, I'm going to cry. Let's make sure we got that the right way. I'm going to have to get my glasses out, pardon me, but my magnifying glass. That's right. that way just making sure it's the right way uh oh doesn't feel like it wants to go down in there that's not good let's make sure none of the prongs are bent they don't appear to be bent. I sure as hell don't want to go down in there. I know this is the improper way of doing it. Guess that's about as good I'm gonna get it. I don't I'm not sure it's actually locked in. It doesn't Okay, yeah it does. It looks like the levers are down. It just don't look like it's all the way down to me. The other one snaps back in there or snaps in there a lot better than that. Okay, well we got a few more things to do to be done. Um, I think I'm going to go ahead and put this side panel on while I got y'all there. Um, this more or less just snaps into place as well. thing about it is there we go yep that goes that way yep that's right slide this back in here I don't know I really don't like these connectors at all connectors kind of blow booty all right there we go let's see if I can get this in here these are supposed to slide back in the here it's got these little clips there that uh, uh oh. Hold it in place. Where's my light?
I wanted to make sure I was looking at it the right direction. I believe the tape on the other one went all the way down. There we go. Slides right in there just like so. All nice and comfy. I wish I could practice the same wiring habits as some of these manufacturers. Oh, you know what Whiplash forgot to do? I feel a little embarrassed right at the moment. We got a screw to put in. Right there. See if I can't get this without tearing anything up. Here's the... I'm just going to use this. It should be sufficient enough to get it in there. Then we can pop it back in place. Yeah, just one screw. Just one screw. All this just pops in more or less. Let's see if I can get it in there. You guys get the gist of it. I think I'm gonna fight with this off camera. Oh, there we go. There we go. One side in, another side to go. Now this side should be a little easier. Uh, we got a, another screw put in on this side, right there. Snug enough. Oh, I forgot. I need to blow this out. So I'm going to probably do the rest of this off camera. I don't know. Can you guys see that right there? Uh, that's the intake for the uh, uh, oh shoot the power supply. I'm wondering if I should take that power supply out. Uh, I may do that another time. It really doesn't look that bad. I looked at it earlier. I even blew it out. I mean, I can't... I see a little bit of dust, but nothing like that uh, radiator was. So, uh, I'm going to do the rest of this off camera. Or I'm going to go blow this out because it, it's that. It's so loud, y'all wouldn't like it. Alright, guys. Well, looks like old Whiplash did it. It's working. It's been... Uh, nine long days I think nine nine or ten something like that and uh, finally got it up finally got it running and uh, I want to give Mr. J a big shout out for uh, giving me uh, the proper attention a customer deserves and uh, getting my PC part and uh, I got a lot looks like I got a lot of updates to do and get things straightened out and uh, I'm gonna get working on this video unfortunately this is early Thursday morning and it's almost 6 a.m. so uh, it'll be probably another day before I actually get this out you probably won't see it till Friday morning um, but cuz I'm pretty tired I need to go to bed uh, I don't have to put the little one on the bus so if I go to bed now I get an extra hour of sleep right <laughs> uh, anyway I uh, hope I didn't bore you too much. I'm going to cut the shit out of this video. It's, it's actually longer than I anticipated, and I cut it out a lot of stuff. But uh, anyway, I hope you all enjoyed it. With Blash is back in business. Thanks for joining me. Everyone have a beautiful day, and God bless.